Viewing the glistening water underneath the clear blue sky, there's nothing more pleasant than by spending the day at Castaic Lake. Many local residents in Santa Cruz Valley come down to Castaic Lake, either to go biking, hiking, fishing, or even just to watch the view of the water. There were so many great activities to do, it almost becomes impossible to think of a time when there wasn't even a lake. Well, that's about to change. I'm Jake Schick, covering the history of Castaic Lake. Here is more on that. Over just 50 years ago, Castaic Lake, the lake everyone has come to love and enjoy, was an empty mountainside with no water to be present in the city of Castaic. It wasn't until August 8, 1966, when the project Castaic Dam exploded into action. The $8.5 million dam that would be 420 feet high, 4,900 feet long, and 2,350 feet in width would be the largest earthen dam to have ever been built. Coming from the California Aqueduct, then the Pyramid Lake, Castaic would become the next destination to the traveling water for both the western side of LA as well as Ventura County. The dam would hold a total storage capacity of 325,000 acres of water. Earned by project manager John Coyley, 75 members of his men digged, planned, measured, and sculpted the earth to fit the future dam. The heart of the project, though, would be building a mammoth diversion tunnel, in which would control the water coming from one side of the dam to the other. The build consisted of drilling holes into the earth and then filling them up with powder and blast to create the formation of the everlasting tunnel. It wouldn't be until 1967 that the tunnel would be finished, and the earthbound dam would be finished in the early 1970s. So the next time you come down and enjoy the use of the lake, make sure to take the time to admire what was once not. It gives you quite a different perspective on things. Reporting for the Saugus News Network, this has been Jake Schick.